But now that we've thoroughly covered how to go about riding these loops in trot, now let's look about riding these loops in canter because it's not quite the same. So first, let's begin by discussing why do we want to ride these loops in canter? Well, the idea of this exercise is to introduce more challenging counter canter work on a curve as opposed to on a straight line. So the objective is to stay in true canter, to ride off the track towards the deepest part of the loop, maintain the same canter lead, and then return to the track at the prescribed marker before the short side. Now, the relative straightness of a shallow five meter loop, especially in a 20 by 60 long arena, because it is relatively shallow, it helps the horse to keep the power in his hindquarters whilst he changes from true canter to counter canter and then back again. So it's a very good way of introducing and teaching your horse how to do counter canter on curved lines. Now, although dressage tests will only ask you to ride canter on five meter loops, in training, you can of course ride them on 10 meter loops or pretty much any degree of loop that your horse is capable of executing. But just remember that the deeper the loop, the more balanced the horse needs to be because the bend at the center of the loop is not as shallow as say, for example, a five meter loop. So let's take a look at how we go about riding these canter loops. So as we talked about in the trot, when we ride these loops in trot, we are constantly changing the bend. So we're going from right bend to left bend to right bend. And throughout this, you are changing the position of your body, you are changing your weight aids, and you are changing your bending aids from right to left to right. However, in canter, you're not going to do that. Because in canter, we want to keep the horse cantering on the same leg. So in this exercise that's on screen, you start on the right rein. So you want the horse to be in right canter all the way through the loop. And because of this, you need to keep a slight right bend as you hit the midpoint of the loop. And this helps your horse to maintain the right canter lead. So this is where he will be demonstrating counter canter throughout the exercise before then rejoining the track and cantering away in true canter on the right leading leg. Now, if you go about changing your aids and your upper body in the way that we talked about when we were discussing how to ride this in trot, then more than likely your horse isn't going to stay on the same canter lead throughout. So if you started on right canter, you got to this point and then all of a sudden you changed all your aids to left bend, your horse may either break or he may throw in a flying change and turn to left canter lead because he'll think that is what you want. So throughout this whole entire loop, you need to keep yourself sitting as though you are in that slight right bend. And this will help to make it clear to your horse that you want him to maintain the right canter lead. 